Welcome to the Lead Every Day Show. Our mission is to see a world well-led. And our strategy to get there? To empower leaders like you to lead every day. So let's get to work. I love to drive fast, but I have noticed the faster you drive, the harder it is to read the signs on the freeway. Clarity becomes really hard when you get speed going. And the same thing's true in our organizations. Welcome to the Lead Everyday Show. I'm Randy Gravitt. I'm Mark Miller. And we're going to talk about clarity this week as we as we try to think about accelerating our success. Talk about going fast. So I, the leaders I hang out with, they, they like to achieve stuff and they like to go fast. How can I achieve stuff faster? It's a really great question. And just for those of you who've been listening the last few weeks, we, we're, I guess we're a month or so into our show, a little over a month into our show, and we've we've spent some time really outlining our leadership operating system these last few weeks. We talked about being better leaders to start with. That was fun. We, we spent a whole week, actually a couple weeks on that. We talked about development plans for the year, and I hope you're, you're well into your plan now. That was great. And then we talked about improving team performance. We spent a whole week on that. And then last week, we talked about strengthening our organizations. How amazing would it be if we worked in an organization that was that was aligned and engaged and executing, but but it starts with being well-led, as we said. Well, today, we want to we want to shift a little bit. We're going to move out of the operating system, and we want to spend some time talking about the fourth thing that we, we believe leaders are interested in, and that's this idea of accelerating our success. Like we said, we want to go, we want to go far, but we want to go far as fast as we can. We think that's important. And I think it starts with clarity, Mark. So let's let's dive into it today, this idea of, of things. I think sometimes when we get successful and, and the speed of stuff gets going, it, it can get a little fuzzy for us. And I made a statement a couple of days ago. If it gets fuzzy to us, it's usually blurry to the people following us. So I think clarity is a really big idea. How do we how do we think about creating clarity? Well, I'll I'll just add an exclamation point to what you've just said. I believe the greatest contribution a leader can make is clarity. Now, that may strike you as a bit odd. Let's see if we can defend that in, in the next few minutes here. Um, clarity does not emerge spontaneously. Yeah. In fact, chaos emerges <laughs> spontaneously. Yeah. And leaders have this opportunity, and I would argue a responsibility to provide direction, to provide vision, to provide strategy, to clarify roles, to create expectations. You know, we talked just a few days ago, maybe it was yesterday, about execution. And we propose a definition, if you want to excel at execution, you got to do the right thing the right way every time. Well, it'll be a leader that sets that standard and establishes that definition. Now, people will rally towards that if the leader assists them and encourages them and empowers them, but people aren't going to set that goal on their own. Yeah, that's right. And, and when you have a stretch goal, when you have something that's aspirational, it emanates from the heart and mind of leaders. Yeah. I think it's a huge part of our role. Yeah, I, that's great. I, I, when I think about clarity, I ask the question, I always start with the question, what do I want? I think that's just a good place to start. Like, what do you really want? Your question from years ago, what are you trying to accomplish? That's another great clarity question. But I think sometimes it starts with what do you want? Like, what are you trying to do? And as you think about your, if you're listening today or you're watching on, on YouTube, if you think about your business, your company, your team, your church, your school, I mean, your family, whatever you got, what do you want? And and I'm I'm just, you, you said it's the biggest, uh, the contribution of the leader. I think sometimes it's the biggest challenge of the leader because we, we, we live in a noisy world, right? I mean, it's just, there's a lot of noise going on. And you said this doesn't happen by, by chance. It really doesn't. We've right. got to spend some time on thinking about what do we want. Yeah, I get a lot of text messages from leaders. And I welcome that. I get a lot of phone calls. By the way, my cell number is 678-612-8441. And I'm delighted to have these exchanges and, and even dialogue of sorts with leaders. The voicemail stays kind of full. And I've got a leader. Well, yeah, it's pretty full. So let's, <laughs> let's go with text and sell. That's better than the voicemail. I've got a leader right now that I'm in an exchange with and he's having trouble finding clarity. And, and I want to try to encourage him, but I want to challenge him. Leadership always begins with a picture of the future. And, and you need to declare. Now, it may not be crystal clear 
like, much like a Polaroid photograph. Some of our listeners will remember that they, from days some gone of them by. Have no idea what you're some talking about. Some have no idea. It was a, it was a camera that took pictures, and when you when it spit the film out, it would actually spit the picture. Spit, out. spit the picture right out, and and you would look at it, and there was nothing it's there. It's just white. I mean, it's milky, just white, yeah. kind of milky. But the longer you stare at it, the clearer it becomes. Well, sometimes that's the way vision is. Yeah. And so if if you're in that position and you're trying to provide clarity, just be careful. Don't provide certainty. Yeah. Because there's going to be a progressive revelation and it will become clearer and clearer. Yeah. But you can tell people what you do. And know. I'm not sure we ever have certainty, right? We think right. something's well, going to happen. We rarely, don't know. You can be certain on two things. Yeah. You can be certain <laughs> on your intent. Yeah. And you can be certain on your effort. Yeah. That's, beyond, about, that's about it. Beyond that, it's you aspiration. Don't know, you don't know what's going to exactly. You you can make yeah. some assumptions, but but clarity is is where it starts. And I think one of the for me when I struggle to gain clarity, a lot of times it is because what you're talking about. Well, I don't spend time. If I don't spend time on it, it doesn't just. Right. You know, this is not something you get in the shower, right? right. I the mean, problem. Like, the, the, this is one <laughs> these of are those bigger, problems. Bigger issues. It's not going to be solved in the shower or driving to work. Yeah, exactly. You got to put some time on task. Yeah. But when you do, it's 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 crazy. If I if I'll sit and I'll take some time. And, and again, noise is all over my schedule, but if I'll take some quiet and schedule that and show up in that moment and ask myself, what do I want? That's one of the questions. Why do I want it? What, what's my motivation behind that? Sometimes I, I may think I want something, but if I really stop back and, or sit back and think, why do I want that? Maybe that's not what I ought to be wanting. I mean, it, it, that's just another clarity. I, I like to ask the question, who's it for? It's another clarity question. Like if I'm asking myself, who am I doing this for? And you gave me a book or a book recommendation a couple of weeks ago. And on the back is, is a book on writing. And on the, the back, the, I, I thought it was great. The author said, uh, a, book is not, a, a book is not about something. A, a book is for someone. And that just that little statement in itself, so good. It just gave me clarity on reminding me that when we're talking, or when we're, it, it's about who it's, it's for. It's not about what it's about. I mean, that, that kind of thing. So... There's lots of clarity questions, but when that gets on your schedule and you spend some time thinking about it, it's amazing how things just become clear. Yeah, yeah, and and you can you need to apply the the discipline of clarity in all areas, and it and it it adds value in the workplace, it adds value in your personal life, it adds value at home. I mean, what what do you want? What are you trying to accomplish? You know, let's get expectation clarity. Let's get role clarity. Let's get goal clarity. Uh, le- leaders uniquely provide those things. Yeah, I, lo- I love that. Yeah, that. what are you trying to accomplish? How are you going to measure it? I mean, that's another clarity question. It's like, it's, I think this is what I want, but then how are you going to know what winning is and how do you define it? I mean, all these questions are clarity questions. So if you're listening today and you don't have clarity, it really might be what's slowing you down. This is about accelerating your success. If I if I don't ha- if I'm not clear on what I'm trying to do, what who is for, what why I want it, yeah. how am I going to measure it? What how do I define who's, when? Who's oh. going to follow you if you say, "Come on, let's go," and they say, "Where are we going?" Say, I don't know. <laughs> like, let's I'm go. Not sure, we'll just end up somewhere. I mean, that's uh, yeah, we know, know it's not going to work. We, that, I mean, that's really that checker mindset we talked about last week. Just yeah, let's just play it. the game. It's like see, no, see what happens. Let's that's don't not, just play the game. Yeah, we we, we want to w- lead. Let's well, be so. purposeful. I, th- I think so. So today, as you as we begin to have this conversation about accelerating your success, I want to challenge you to get clear on what you want. If you can, if you can do that, that's that's the place to start. And and this might take a meeting with yourself. I mean, put it on your schedule. Maybe this afternoon you take fifteen to thirty minutes. And you're not going to solve it all in fifteen to thirty minutes. But that's a starting place to say, what do I really want? Why do I want it? Who's it for? How am I going to measure success? Some of those basic questions might be the catalyst you need to 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 go faster, to go farther faster, right? That's what that's what we're after here. So we're going to continue the conversation tomorrow. Another way that we can get faster is to learn from others. We'll we'll dive into that tomorrow. If you if you're really looking to to uh, take your leadership to the next level, I would encourage you if you've not done so already to subscribe to our newsletter. You can go to leadeveryday.com, it'll give you a chance to do that. And uh, you won't miss any of the content that we're putting out. We're trying to help leaders everywhere get better to be the best they, they can. We believe in a world well-led. We want to see that. We think we think that's important. We know when leaders get better, everything around them gets better. And when they don't, it's a real struggle. So let's do our, our part to do that. Subscribe to that newsletter if you haven't done so. Come back tomorrow. Remember, the best leaders lead every day.